So today I'm going to show you how you can run ads on Gmail, ads that appear on the promotions tab. Now when Google runs these ads, they don't only run them on the Gmail platform, they run them on multiple platforms like search results, websites, YouTube and other platforms. And today I'm going to show you how you can promote a specific niche and that is a traveling niche using these Google ads, okay? Now, why would you want to promote the travel industry? If you take a look at the Google results of the travel industry value, as you can see, this is a one of a $1.3 trillion US industry. Thousands and thousands of people across the world are constantly traveling to different destinations, different countries, different continents, usually for vacations, for business, to visit their family and friends. And this is why you want to get into the travel niche, okay? Now, there are two particular affiliate networks that have travel products. One of them is Warrior Plus, okay? WarriorPlus.com, okay? If you've not heard of Warrior Plus, this is one of the biggest affiliate networks. It's very similar. I always compare it to JVZoo. The good thing about this network is that you can join from any country without any prior results to affiliate sales, okay? So unlike ClickBank, this is a very easy network to join. Another network is Max Bounty, okay? Max Bounty, you can also find travel niche. So if you come over to Max Bounty, you go to the travel section or the travel category right at the bottom here, click on apply search options, you will find travel products, okay? There are tons and tons of them over here. Now, the only problem with Max Bounty is that it's, at these days, it's very, very strict in accepting affiliates. I always get complaints about people saying they are unable to join Max Bounty or they've been rejected. I don't know why, but they just become tougher. But guys, you can always join other affiliate networks, okay? There's so many affiliate networks that you can easily join. And one of them is Warrior Plus. So when you come over to Warrior Plus, once you've signed up, you're going to look for Travel Mojo, okay? It's a very recent product. It was just released a few days ago because today is uh, 19th. It's already making thousands in sales. As you can see, 1,000 plus. Conversion rate is 34%. Visitor value is $7.62. Average sale is $26. And as you can see, the refund rate is low. All right. So anything below five is considered good. So two is a really good number. So what you do, you're going to open this link over here, which will take you to this page. Okay. So this is the details page. And as you can see, the first thing it tells you is that you must be approved by Adflare to promote this offer. Okay. You're going to request approval. I'm going to show you exactly how to get approval for these types of offers. Okay. So over here, you have the overview. So it basically tells you a one-click software creates self-updating affiliate sales websites, allowing you to tap into 800 billion per year travel industry, okay? You have the funnel map here. So if you scroll down here, these are usually just other offers that you can actually give them to help promote the main product over here, okay? So these are OTOs, which means one-time one -time offers. So there are more OTOs over here that you can use to promote the main product, okay? And then we have the products page over here. So again, these are the other offers, the one-time offers that you can use. Okay, now going back to the overview, it tells you the contents of this product. So it, uh, it has a video, it is a software, it's a website or membership, it has media files or images. Okay, so this is just basically the details about the product. Now, if you go to the View JV page, it's basically going to take you to the affiliate page. So here you can grab your link once you've already been approved. Okay, so this is just all the details that you need to get or things that you can actually use to promote these products. It has tons and tons of info. And this is what I love about products like this that give you tools and what exactly you need to do to promote this product successfully. Okay, those uh, they even have tools over here. Okay, they have the sales page preview. So you can see how the sales page is going to look like. They have email swipes. So this is another important tool that I love. They have JVZoo doc. They have bonuses. Okay. Now, if you come back over here, you can see the view sales page. Now, if you open this, it will take you to this page. Okay. Now, what this product actually does, it doesn't really promote it to just anyone. Okay. Anyone willing to travel. It's actually not for travelers. It's for affiliate marketers. So, anyone who wants to get into this industry to promote affiliate products using the travel niche. Okay. So, you're basically targeting affiliates. All right. People just like you and me. Okay. So this is the page, this is the sales page, this is where we want to direct them. So after this step, you are now going to head over to ads.google.com, okay? Because we're going to be running an ad. Now, I know most of you prefer free traffic, 
But actually, the best way to make money online and the fastest way that you can make money online is actually running ads, okay? In other words, doing paid ads. This is mainly how I run my traffic. I get most of my traffic using paid ads. And just like other super affiliates, this is how most people make real money with affiliate marketing, okay? So remember, for faster results, please try to do paid ads, okay? So once you're here, you're just going to click on sign in or start now. It's then going to take you to your dashboard, okay? So it's either going to take you to overview or campaigns, okay? But what you want to do is go to campaigns. Now, once you're here, you're going to click on create campaign and then click on new campaign. It's then going to take you to this page. So it's going to say, what's your campaign objective? So here's basically the objective that you want to take, what you want Google to do on your ad. So you can drive sales, you can drive leads, you can get website traffic. Now you can choose any of these two actually. These two are actually one of the best or the ones that I mainly use. So I'm just going to use this one for example, uh, drive sales online. And then from here, now if it's your first time, you're not going to see this section over here. If you've never run ads before, uh, you might not see this section. So you might see a drop down, okay? I think it should be a drop down button which should take you to this page. So you're going to select page views, okay? And once you've done that, you're going to click on continue. So it will then take you to the selector campaign type. So you're going to just select performance max. You want to maximize the performance of your ad. You're going to select that. And then from here, it's going to ask you to give your campaign a name. I'm just going to call it the name of the product, which is called Travel, Travel Mojo. And once you're done, you're going to scroll down and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to take you to the budget and bidding. So here's where you're going to set the amount you want to spend each day. So you can write anything from uh, Five dollars to ten dollars. Okay, I recommend ten dollars. This is going to give you more results, more data, more information that you need in order to know what's working, what's not working. And then, as you can see, when you type your your, your budget over here, you can see on your right you have your weekly estimate. Now, this is based on your daily budget and bidding. So, as you can see, with my ten dollars, I'm likely to get ten conversions. Okay, and this is going to be the cost of conversion. All right. Once you're done with that, you're going to scroll to bidding. So here's going to ask you what do you want to focus on. So it's either conversion or conversion value. So just leave it at conversions. Next, you have set a target cost per action. This is optional, so you don't really need to do much over here. Next, we have the customer acquisitions. So just ignore this because this option over here, it limits your ads to new customers. Okay, so I usually uh, don't really interfere with this section and this section. So just click on next. You're then going to be taken to the campaign settings, okay? To reach the right people, start by defining key settings for your campaign. Now, this product can work for any country, okay? They're not really uh, selective of countries. You can actually use it. You can actually promote it on any country. There are some products that prefer specific countries, but this one you can target worldwide, okay? Most products in Max Bounty, I know, are, are actually targeted to US audience, but for JVZoo and Wara Plus, usually are international so we can just go ahead and leave it at all countries but again if you really want to select let me just show you you're going to enter another location and then maybe it's the united states you can just type over here us okay and then you can select target okay so whatever country you want you're just going to click on target okay so i'm just going to leave it on all countries and territories next we have languages i'm, I'm going to leave it default english okay and once you're done with that click on next you then have asset group. So you can go ahead and leave this or you can name it whatever you want. I usually just leave it the way it is. And then next we have assets. Okay, so here's where we're going to enter our URL, our affiliate link. So we're going to head back to uh, this product itself. We're going to click on request approval. Okay, so for this particular offer, we need to request for an affiliate link. Okay, so the way we're going to do this, you're going to start by saying something like this. All right, so I'm done writing the request letter. So what you just want to start saying is by, Hi, my name is so-and-so, and I would like to promote your product on my email list and via social media. I am a new affiliate to Wera Plus, and I am slowly building my list and social media presence. Most of my traffic comes from Tier 1 countries. So Tier 1 countries like US, Canada, 
uh, UK countries and Australia. So I won't be sending any rubbish traffic and I believe this product is a fit for my audience. Looking forward to working with you long time. Thank you. So this is a powerful note that you can write. Most of the time they're going to accept this because I actually used this some time back and also gave this to someone else and they also got accepted. So go ahead and use this note. Just enter your name over here. Don't forget to enter your name. Once you've done that, you're going to click on request offer. <laughs> right? So going to take a couple of hours before you get your approval or link approval. So since we can't wait that long, obviously we're going to use the product uh, the product page as an example. Okay, we're going to use this as our affiliate link. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to enter or paste the URL over there. Okay, and once you're done with that, you have your images over here. So you can place your image up to 20 of them. So in order to do that, you're going to click on images over there. Once you're here, you're going to click on upload. And then here's where we're going to upload our images. You can just drag and drop our images from here. Now we can just come up over here to the sales page. Uh, I like getting images from the sales page over here. So let's see if they have images that we can use. Um, so I've seen a couple of images that you can use over here. Let me see if I can go ahead and save them. So I can't really save this one over here. So what we can do, we can just head over to uh, Pexels. Now, since we are targeting affiliates, we're not really targeting people who are traveling. We are, uh, we are targeting affiliates. So the images that we can get are for like people in an office. So we can just type um, office. Okay. So we really want images with people. Okay. So this one is fine. This one is also fine. Okay. This one is also fine. So let me go ahead and download this one here. Okay. Come back over here. And then I'm going to click on choose files to upload. I'm going to head to downloads. I'm going to select this image. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click another one. I'm going to add another one. I guess I'm going to get another image because they want at least three images. I'm going to download this. Okay, click on add more. Select our image. And then one more. Come back over here. Okay, let me download this one. Okay, so now we're done. Let me click on add more. And then select that. Once you're done, you're going to click on save. Okay. And then next we have logos. Okay. I'm going to click on logos. Now logo, you can use, um, you can actually use the product logo. So let's come back to the sales page. So this right here is the logo. So since we can't really copy this or save it, we're going to crop it or snip it using a snipping tool. We're going to click on new. Okay, so I'm just going to Snip it like this. Okay. Click on save. Click on save again. Okay. And then now we can come back over here. Click on upload. Choose files. Select our image or our logo. Okay. So they say it's too small. Let me go ahead and do it again. So one way that you can make this work is to expand or zoom the screen. Okay. So I'm just going to control shift. Okay. Then I'm going to add. The zoom to maybe okay 175. Let me get the snipping tool again. Click on new. So hopefully this is going to work. Okay. So let me reset this page back normal. Come back over here. Uh, I'm going to click on add. Select our image. Okay, so I think it accepted it. All right. So I'm going to click on save. So now we can continue. Scroll down. So now if you have videos, you can actually use the videos, but in this case, we're not going to use any videos. And then here we have our headlines. So we can come back over here to get our headlines. We can just come back to again, the product for the sales page or even the affiliates page. Okay. Let's just come back over here. So we can say one click software creates self updating affiliate travel websites in 45 seconds. So we can say create affiliate travel websites in 45 seconds. Okay, so this is way too long. We are limited to 30 characters, as you can see here. So we can just say maybe create affiliate travel websites. Okay, uh, we can enter our second headlines. Maybe you can add affiliate marketing website. Okay, and then lastly, uh, let's come back over here. Maybe your site ready in minutes. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, 
So you can go ahead and add up to five, uh, five headlines, but I'm just going to leave three for now. And then we have long form headlines. Let me just add one here as an example. Uh, here now I can just use this whole sentence because I don't think, yeah, it's up to 90 characters. So we can actually say, create affiliate travel websites in 45 seconds. Create affiliate travel websites in 45 seconds with a one click software. I'm going to leave it like that. And then now I'm going to scroll down over here. So again, now we have a description. So here we can just repeat what we just said, uh, or we can just get something else from the affiliate page. Uh, we can just use click one button to automatically add a fit link. Okay, so we can use this. Okay, let's just use this, copy this right here, come back over here and then just paste it there. Now we can continue, we can enter our business name. Uh, we can just call this Travel Mojo. Okay, now as you can see on your right over here, whatever you're updating over here is also going to be updated over here. So this is actually the preview. Now if you look at this preview over here, there are actually different platforms that Google is going to show this. They're going to show this on YouTube as well, on Gmail. Okay, they're going to show it on Search, on Display, on Discover. So if you want to see this, it's going to look on YouTube. This is how it's going to look on YouTube. If you want to see how it's going to look on Gmail, this is how it's going to look like that on Gmail, on search as well. You can go ahead and see how it's going to look on search results. All right. So this is going to help you a lot in setting up your ad correctly or the way it's going to appear on your ads. Okay. So now we're going to continue. Uh, we have call to action. This is automated, but you can go ahead and select whichever you want. This is just the call to action button, the way you want it to appear. Like over here, as you can see, it's going to automatically set uh, learn more. Okay. But if you want to change that, you can go ahead and change it from there. Okay. So once you're done, you're going to scroll down. Here you have audience signal. Now this one says use an audience signal to reach the right audience faster. Okay. So we're going to click on add an audience signal. Okay. So we're going to select new audience. Okay, so we're going to enter our audience name. We can just say affiliates. We have custom segments based on their search activity, download apps, visited pages. So here we can create custom segment. Uh, we can either browse or just search. And then we can click on create custom segment. Here we can say affiliates or affiliate marketers. And then here they have include people with the following interests or behaviors or people with any of these interests or purchase intentions. Then you have people who searched for any of these terms on Google. So you can go ahead and select any of these. Either of these can work. So people with any of these interests or people who have searched for these terms on Google. So you can add the Google search terms. Now, once you click over here, Google is very smart. It's going to suggest for you anything related to affiliates. Okay, so there are different search terms over here. We can start with affiliate program, affiliate programs, how to make money online. Okay, we have Amazon. Okay, we don't really want Amazon. Uh, maybe affiliate marketing site software. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, affiliate network programs, VAS, yes. Um, affiliate marketing with free websites, yes. How to earn money, Amazon, no. Uh, affiliate programs, yes. You can go ahead with this one. Highest paid affiliates. Uh, free online affiliates, yes. Free traffic sites, yes. Okay. Okay, now as you can see on your right hand side over here, you have your weekly impressions. So 1 billion to 5 billion weekly impressions. You have your gender over here, male. Uh, you can drop down and see a female is also that 30%. Okay. You have your age. You have your age gap or age bracket, which is between 18 to 24, which is the largest. Actually, the largest is 24 to 34. So this is a fair number for uh, the, the number which is uh, most likely to use this product. And then we have the parental status. So we have the parent, which is 25%, and those who are not parents, 75%. Okay, so those are just the metrics. And then once you're done, you're going to click on save. And then down here, you have interest and demographics. Now you can go ahead and select this, but I don't really think it's necessary once you've already selected this segment. So if you want to select that, you can go ahead and select and also enter your demographics, life events, and all that, but usually you just tend to ignore this section. You also have demographics over here. So this one's recommended. So you can select either female, male, or unknown. Um, you have your age bracket. So people who are usually 18 are usually not really employed. So you want maybe someone from 25 to 65 plus. All right. So this is good. 
And once you've done that, you can just close this drop down and click on save. Okay, so once you're also done with that, you can go ahead and click on next. So once you're done, it's going to show you whether you have errors or not. Now, I actually have two errors. And if I click on fix it, it's going to take me to the places that I need to fix these errors. Okay, so here it's basically telling me I need to add two more descriptions. Okay, so since this was just a demo, I'm not really going to add the descriptions. But as you can see, as I was telling you, you need to add at least four to five descriptions. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like this, but make sure you add your five or four descriptions. Okay, so once you've gotten that fix, it's going to give you a button to start the promotion. Okay. And once that promotion starts now you can just patiently wait uh, for google's approval once they approve your ad now they're going to start running your ad okay now you can go ahead and test different types of ads don't just stick to this one in particular maybe you can go ahead and change things like you know things like assets maybe you can add uh, different types of images you can add you can change your headlines as well you can also change your descriptions also your affiliates as well okay you can just test different types of things that are going to work that are going to make you the most money okay guys so i hope this helped um i know it can be challenging creating ads on google especially if it's your first time but if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below otherwise that's going to do it for this video i have other tutorials on affiliate marketing that can help you out with starting your affiliate marketing journey you can click on the videos that you see on your screen otherwise that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one